my number one hair company on Amazon is that company. I love them. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, I'm Alicia, and I'm gonna be talking about Amazon wigs that I tried so y'all didn't have to. This has been something so popular on my TikTok. Amazon wigs are definitely very popular, number one, because they quick, they're cheap, <laughs> and people think that Amazon wigs are usually trash for whatever reason. People just love to think that they're trash, but I'm here to tell you that they're not. But I do wanna say a quick disclaimer. How wigs look at the end of the day are based upon who's installing them. If you're not good at plucking and bleaching and doing all that, your wig is just not gonna probably look that good. So I don't want y'all to think like, oh, just cause it looked good, like it's gonna look good on everybody because that's not the case. You gotta make sure that you're putting in the work and you're shaping this wig to make it look how it's supposed to look. Because Amazon wigs, I'm gonna let you know, most of them do not come out the pack looking good like this, okay? They need some work. <laughs> so I'm gonna let y'all know the wigs that I've tried and I'm gonna give you my honest review on them. Now on TikTok, I just showed y'all the wigs. But on here, I'm gonna be telling y'all about the wigs. So definitely keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna go in order from least expensive to most expensive. And I do have some notes right here. If y'all see me looking down, that is what I'm looking at. So like I said, I'm going from cheapest to most expensive. And I will touch on everything that I think about these wigs as I go along. And I also will have on the screen the actual wigs, what they look like on the Amazon site. Everything will be linked in my description box. Please go to my Amazon store. That is where all these wigs will be linked to. I have them under a section under the same thing as this video, Amazon wigs I've tried. So every wig will be there if I've tried it on Amazon. If not on Amazon, then it just won't be in this video because we talk more Amazon, okay? So let's get into it. Number one on the list is a wig for $80 and this is from a company called Jaja Hair. Um, it used to be called Jaja Hair, should I say, but now it's called Original Queen Store. And this was a 10 inch frontal unit, 130% density that I got. Picture should be right here. I got this wig a long time ago. This one don't even, it's not even a recent wig I had. If you've seen my very second YouTube video, this is the wig that I'm talking about on there. Now the frontal was transparent lace. It was okay. The wig was like super thick. It doesn't even seem like it was 30%. It felt like it was thicker than that. Um, The quality was eh, okay. The lace was eh, okay. I mean, it's an $80 wig. It's an $80 wig. You're gonna get what you pay for. So at the end of the day, if you pay $80 for a wig, you should just expect that that wig is not gonna be the best thing you've ever had. But if you're looking for something quick, something just, you know, you need something to go out and you're not trying to go buy no beauty supply store type, type stuff, this is a quick little wig that you can use for a bob install. But I would not wear this wig more than two times. Like, not more than twice. Second wig that I'm gonna be talking about is my pixie cut wig. And everybody loved this wig. I did too, it was so freaking cute. Um, I've never had a, well I've had a shortcut before but I don't have curly hair in that texture. So I thought it was so cute. It was given big chop, I definitely loved it. This wig was $89 and it was a 13 by four frontal transparent lace. The lace was okay, I didn't really care for the lace. However, I did install that wig using um, Got To Be. And y'all know, um, Got To Be makes your lace have like a white cast over it. So that could have very well been the issue but not for sure. I did like the wig overall. I would definitely purchase another one. I think that they are the most natural looking wigs that I've ever seen. Like, I could not believe that that was a wig. And it was so easy. I just got up, put some water on it, and I kept on going about my day. So, very low maintenance. And if you're looking to switch up your look, you don't want to cut your hair, but you just want to see what you look like, that's the way to go, okay? Next wig on the list is this Beauty Forever wig. Now, I love Beauty Forever hair. Their hair is very soft, very silky, and very shiny. I even got my roommate on to Beauty Forever hair. She actually ordered a wig from them, and I do love them at, overall as a company. I think that their quality is very good. So this was the wig with the two blonde highlights in the front, and it was a T-part unit, and the color was TL27, and I got it in 20 
I got it in 16 inches. The hair was really cute. Like I like the color. I've never tried anything like that before. I personally do not like T4 wigs. I had to learn the hard way. Um, when I first started doing YouTube, like if you first become an influencer, they want to send you what don't nobody else want, okay? They're trying to promote something that's new or that is not being sold as often. t Power wigs are really not that popular. This came from the lace shortage that was going on, so there wasn't as much lace, so they made these little T-Parts. They're, they're, I just don't like them, okay? It's not that much space, and it's not that much you can do with them. However, if you're one of those people who just like to put on your wig, like the closure wigs, and you just comb it down, you're not looking for that frontal effect, then T-Part wigs may be for you because they're very low maintenance because you're not laying a full frontal. It's only just like from here to here, and there is no parting. You have one part, and you cannot change it. But this T-Part wig, as far as quality goes, I would say that I would purchase from this company. This specific wig, like I said, it's a T-Part, so it wasn't for me, but if you were to order this wig in like a frontal or closure, I would definitely recommend. It also comes with the fake scalp on the inside, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, because some people are like, wigs come with fake scalps, yes they do. Yes, they do, and I hate that part, and I know others that hate that part, and I will show on the screen what I'm talking about. You can go in and actually cut that out, and if you don't know, I do have videos on my channel. Not right now. Don't go right now. Wait till you finish the video. But there are videos on my channel on how to cut that part out, as well as on my TikTok. Go follow me over there. There's plenty of videos on how to cut that part out, so go check them out. Next wig we're gonna get into is from a company called B-W-O-O-G-R-E Store, Bookery Boo Store, I don't know, I don't know y'all. Bookery Store on Amazon. Now this was um, $120, 22 inch, 13 by four straight wig. Now, for $120 to get a frontal, I, I, I think that's pretty good. I feel like that is affordable. Now my definition of affordable is less than $200. If it's above 200, it's no longer affordable to me, to a normal person. Um, I still think $200 is decent, honestly. Um, but to some people, that may be expensive. So anything under $200, I'm saying that it's affordable. This is an affordable wig. The quality of the hair was better than the usual, but not top of the line, okay? It was okay. Um, you might get two to three wears out of this wig, but after that, I'll, I don't know how long she gonna last you. The frontal was nice. I was actually expecting trash because the knots were huge. They were humongous. I was just like, this wig is gonna be a mess. I'm not expecting it to be good, but I did actually start doing my frontal bleaching on this wig. So if you haven't seen my bleaching process, that again, that's another video to go watch. Not right now, later on. But my bleaching process, how I do my bleaching, I started it on this wig and this is the wig that I practiced from. And I actually was able to cover up those fat knots and give it an illusion that they weren't there. And it looked so good, like you couldn't even tell. You couldn't even tell and this was transparent lace, y'all. And this came in straight, no body weight texture or anything like that. The next wig we're gonna get into is from Nodula Hair. This again is a T-part. There are about three T-part wigs on this list, y'all, because in the beginning, like I said, I was getting T-parts all the time. That's what was being sent to me. But this wig was a T-part from Nodula Hair, 14 inches, and the color was FB30. This wig was $122. Um, and again, 14 inches if I didn't say that already. The color was so cute. This was the second time I had tried a color like this, I believe, and I really liked it. Very very fall, okay, very fall, very warm. The texture of Nadula hair is great. This is not the first time I've tried Nadula hair, and I like them. I personally bought a wig from them a long time ago. I like their quality of their hair. Um, it is soft, shiny. I definitely think this wig would last you a good four to five wears. I still have this wig. I don't wear it because I don't like T-parts. I've, <laughs> I've said that, but I'm gonna finesse them. I'm gonna finesse them one day, or I may sell them. And if you don't know, I do sell my wigs on my site that I don't want um, the demo units that I have tried on for YouTube. I've bleached and cut and customized everything. I do sell those on my site, Shop Alicia B, so definitely go check that out. But this wig was great quality. I would recommend Nadula Hair overall as a company, and I would purchase from them again. I think that their hair quality is good. I didn't experience really any shedding. It holds curls super, super good. Um, and yeah, I do have videos on all these wigs. If y'all wanna go check them out and see how they got installed or what they looked like, you can go check those videos out on my channel. 
The next wig we're gonna get into is from BLY Hair. Now, there was a lot of controversy over this video on my TikTok because they promoted this hair as HD lace. And me personally, I have never even had an HD lace wig until I started promoting hair. I had one HD lace wig. At this point, I've had four or five, but at that time, I had only had one HD lace wig, and I could not tell you the difference, honestly, between an HD lace wig and a transparent lace wig. I did not know. Um, so people were in my comments telling me that that wasn't HD lace, and it wasn't. They were promoting it wrong on their site, and it's still that way on Amazon, so just be careful. A lot of these companies will put HD, and it's not HD. It's still transparent. But this wig is promoted as HD lace. It's really transparent lace is a 13 by 4 frontal 250 percent density and it was 20 inches 149 dollars 149 dollars where are you finding a 250 percent density 20 inches for 149 dollars i'll wait because i don't know i don't know this wig i had a love-hate relationship with the install was flawless beautiful it came out awesome the bleaching process, this hair bleaches so fast. It processed that hair so fast and it over processed the hair so fast. So you have to be careful. The knots look small, but they really took a long time to bleach. Um, there's some type of chemical or something on that hair that made it not want to bleach for me. Um, so when I went to go pluck the wig, it came out extremely easy. That is a major tip to know if you've over bleached some hair because it will pull out so easy. That wig, the frontal pulled out so easy. Hair shed so bad, not just from the frontal, but from the rest of the wig. So it's not necessarily just that it was over processed at the top, but the rest of the wig shed so bad. Just know that um, the hair quality was okay. Like it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best I've ever had. You may get two wears out this wig just because of how bad it shed. That frontal gonna be bald by next month's thing. It's gonna be gone. You're not gonna have nothing there that you started with. And you know, it was argumentable that it was 250% density. I personally would say that it was 250%. It was a very thick wig. If you had saw the hairline on this wig before I plucked it, you would have easily known that it was 250%. It was just too thick. I don't know, but Donnelly hair, the quality of their hair is soft. It is silky and construction is very good. I still have this T-part wig. I still have this T-part wig. I have worn it about three to four times now and I could still easily wear it again because it's really, really good hair. They gave you a good amount of space in the front which allowed for um, me to pluck more in that area and really give that frontal illusion. So I really do like this company for that part. Color of the hair was cute. Their company overall, I really, really like them. Um, they, the, This wig was transparent lace, but I would say it had like a brown tint to it. And anybody who has like brown skin or darker skin tone, this type of lace melts so good. This wig that I have on now has that same type of brown tinted lace. It's supposed to be transparent. There's some type of hue to it that makes it different. And this wig is from Unite's Hair and their wigs their new wigs have been coming like that it just melts differently i don't know and i just want to make it be known like a quick little tip like just because it's on amazon does not necessarily mean it's trash because aliexpress we're not gonna talk about them <laughs> but just because it's on amazon does not mean it's trash a lot of these vendors that are on amazon are the vendors for your favorite celebrities hair hair brand like honestly y'all these are just vendors Amazon is just a site where vendors are selling hair direct to consumer. There is no middleman. Beauty Forever Hair, a lot of these companies that I have on the list, they are big brands because that's what y'all know them by, like Beauty Forever, Nadula Hair, Unice Hair, y'all know those brands, but these smaller ones are just like on the back end. They're just companies that are behind the scenes. So just, just keep that in mind. Don't think that just because they're on Amazon they're bad because they're not. And a lot of these companies do wholesale. If you didn't know, if you're interested in starting a hair brand and you want to wholesale, there was a company that I loved on this list that I haven't got to yet that I absolutely loved. I wanted to wholesale them so bad, y'all. I wanted to wholesale that company and I inquired and they did offer wholesale. So if that's something that you're interested in, that is something that you can do. You can look on Amazon. Yeah, so next wig we're going to get into is from Dola Hair. Now that, this was the first wig I had on my TikTok, which was the curly long wig that I had on which was my favorite wig I absolutely love this wig 
it is not on Amazon, the one that I had, but so many people inquired about it. I thought I would just include it in this video since it was a part of my TikTok. The frontal version of this unit is available on Amazon. However, that is not the one I had, but I did include it in this list and it is included on my Amazon storefront. The one I had was a 5x5 five five HD lace closure unit and it was 24 inches, 180% density. Now the one I had was $331. So I would definitely say it was not affordable. It's more on the higher end. The quality of the hair is very nice. Um, it does tangle, but it is curly hair so that is to be expected and it does shed. Um, it sheds more than I would like it to for $300. I definitely would say that, but it's beautiful the lace is unmatched you can put that thing on and never see it again <laughs> never see it again I just love that company I will work with them a hundred times over but yeah on Amazon this wig is available for hundred and fifty five dollars their longest length is a 26 inch unit and I did link that in my Amazon storefront all right we're getting here to the end y'all last three wigs that I want to talk about this one is a HD lace frontal wig, 13 by 6 parting space. It's marketed as HD Swiss lace because it does have this like round tint to it. 150% um, density, body wave hair, and this is from a company called A-O-R-B-I-G-E Store. And it used to be called Lush Wigs. So this is a wig that I raved about on my TikTok and also raved about on here. I have a video called Amazon Wig something, I can't remember. Best Amazon wig I've ever tried. This wig is literally the best Amazon wig I've ever tried. It was so good. That lace was immaculate. I mean, you put it on and you couldn't tell if it was growing from my scalp or if it was a wig. You really couldn't tell. The quality of that hair was silky. The quality of that hair was soft, very, very lightweight. It, it, it said 150% density, but to me it was leaning more towards like 130. It wasn't thick. I would have liked it to be thicker, so if you do plan on ordering this wig, I would inquire about maybe seeing if they have 200% 200, 200 or 250 but this wig overall, I mean, it was just amazing. It was amazing, amazing wig. So when I mentioned earlier that looking um, to find a vendor for my hair company that I'm trying to start, this brand was one of them. I mean, they are top tier top tier easily and this wig for a 16 inch was $170 to me that's affordable that is affordable and people were arguing with me on TikTok for that they were trying to say that that wig is high I don't think that that's high especially for what you're getting the quality that you're getting the lace that it is that was a great price that is a absolute gem and if you miss out on it you just miss out on it but I, I, that is like literally my number one my number one hair company on Amazon is that company. I love them. Next wig we're gonna get into is the AF Sister wig. Now this was the red wig. It's marketed as 99J, but it's giving just dull red. Um, but that wig was a 20 inch 13 by four frontal, 180% density, Remy hair, and it was $197. Now if you don't know, there's levels to this hair. There's levels to this hair game. <laughs> but re really, in all reality, it was cute. It's definitely cute for a look if that's what you're going for. Like you just want a red wig and it's cute. But the quality of the hair is just, it's just not good to me. I'm just be honest with you. It's not good to me. It's plasticky. It's dry. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it again. I, I just wouldn't buy it. It was sent to me, so I, I didn't have to buy it in the first place, but I would not purchase that wig. I do not think that it is good quality hair. I didn't really like that. The lace was good. It laid very good. It looked natural. I just did not like the way the hair felt. It just was not worth $197. I'm going to be honest with you. You can go get you a 613 wig and put it red if you want to for less than that for better quality. I just don't agree with that. I would say that they're on the bottom of my list. Out of all these wigs that I've named today, that wig is my least favorite out of them all. Okay. The color though was bomb, but as far as quality and last but not least the last wig that I'm going to be touching on is I see hair now I see hair y'all need to sponsor me y'all y'all need to come come to me I don't really like reaching out to brands I've only done it two times I think and that barely was like a reach out I like DM the brand before I see hair 
if y'all don't come to me, I'm coming to you. I love them. I have been promoting this hair company since before I even thought about a YouTube channel. I have bought from Icy Hair so many times, I couldn't even tell y'all. They are most, like, most definitely one of my top brands that I really, really love that I've spent my own coin on. So I can truly, truly say like, if I've spent my, my money on them more than once, they are a great company. Now this wig is a wig that I purchased on my own. 150% density body wave unit and it was 24 inches and $220. So this was the most expensive wig on the list, not including the Dola hair wig because that didn't even come from Amazon anyway. But this was the most expensive wig on the list. Do I think it's worth it? 100%. 100% worth it. Their wig quality is nice, texture is nice, silky, soft, barely tangles, barely sheds, and I can truly say that for every single one of their textures. I've had a straight wig from them, I've had a body wave wig from them, and I've had a water wave wig from them multiple times, and I've had a headband wig from them. And I've ordered their water wave wig twice. I love Icy Hair. I just love them so much. The lace is transparent, but it's the best transparent you're gonna get. I mean, it melts so, so good. It comes a little bit pre-plucked. You know, I still go in on all my wigs. Honestly, having a wig pre-plucked, I don't care because I'm gonna go in anyway. But this wig company overall, the texture, the packaging, the service, I just think that they are a great company. I truly recommend them. It's worth 100% of that $220. And I think that that's a great price for that wig and w considering what you're gonna get. So yeah, I hope y'all stay to the end of this video. I know it was a little lengthy, but I really wanted to touch on every single wig and and really give y'all an honest review because I don't want y'all to just go buy these wigs just based off of looking at my TikToks. I mean, like, yes, I can make them look good. They look cute. But at the end of the day, if you're somebody who invests money into a wig, you should honestly know if it's a good wig and if it's worth purchasing or not. So I can truly say pretty much every wig on this list is good. It just depends on the longevity that you're looking for. If you're looking for a wig real quick, then... <laughs> It don't, it don't even matter, right? It doesn't even matter. But just know that what you pay for is truly what you get. I mean, you cannot expect to get a, fi a $500 wig for a $150 price. It just does not work like that. And if you find one, it's a hidden gem like that other company I spoke on. With that being said, I thank y'all. If you watch all the way to the end, leave me an emoji in the comments. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think. If you like this little series, let me know. I will continue to do these. I have other titles and other ways I can spin it. I've always been an Amazon wig lover. I've always wanted to buy wigs off Amazon because I love that prime shipping. Okay. You can order from the site if you want to, but you're not going to see her till next week. Amazon, you going to get wig tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the type of time I'll be on. I'll be wanting my wigs quick and I want to install them quick. Hope y'all like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.